Well, I'll you know let the, the 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 pundits and the people looking closely at the data and the results of different elections make those analyses. I'm I'm truly just focused on um, myself as I advise a lot of folks to do, just blocking out the noise and focusing on the count, making sure we get those tabulations done, making sure they're secure, making sure the valid that the the ballots are validated, uh, and uh, and that we're following the process to the letter, uh, so that people can have confidence that as the results come out, uh, however they are analyzed, uh, that they are accurate an accurate reflection of the will of the people. Hi, Secretary Benson. Thanks Hi, for doing this. Um, sure. The uh, What was the number of ballots, absentee ballots, received by the city of Detroit at the TCF Center by 8 o'clock last night? Um, and uh, were there any ballots that, you know, showed up around Detroit later on? Um, so, um, a couple of things. It, it, at the eight o'clock press conference in Detroit last night, uh, the Detroit city clerk and the and and the number a number of leaders in in the absentee counting ballot process uh, mentioned that between one hundred and seventy one hundred and seventy thousand and one hundred and eighty thousand, somewhere between there, were the number of ballots that they were tabulating and expected to be tabulating for the city of Detroit. Notably, ballots had to be in by eight p.m. Uh, to the city of Detroit. So after that point, there were still collection uh, happening or right. Uh, perhaps Im immediately alongside that moment, um, ballot drop boxes were being emptied. Uh, satellite uh, clerk's offices, uh, which were, there were 21 all around the city, were being shut down and any ballots dropped off there uh, were secured. Uh, and so uh, the 8 p.m. deadline for ballots to be in uh, was strictly enforced. Uh, and uh, at that point, at the same time, right around 8 p.m., when there was a press conference happening at TCF, uh, they were able to talk about the ballots that had been in at that point and, and and noted that there were still additional ballots coming in uh, from uh, those that were submitted close to the 8 p.m. deadline. Uh, so and again, that really underscores why we're kind of talking in rough estimates right now, because even once a ballot comes in, as you all know, it has to be validated. The signature on the envelope has to be checked uh, with the signature that we have on file before it can even be begin to be pre-processed and prepared for tabulation. So for ballots getting in, in Detroit or anywhere else in the state, at 7.45, those will count because they arrived on time, but we're still in the process and, and many clerks, particularly in Detroit uh, and their absentee counting boards in the process of making sure all the procedures are followed prior to the tabulation. And so again, it's a, it's a long answer to your question, but that's why I just want to kind of clarify why we're talking in estimates here of 170 to 180, uh, because we're still, um, and we still haven't seen the full numbers of, of how many came in at that last minute uh, in Detroit. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.